Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing freaking fantastic today. And today's video is going to be something a little bit different than what I normally do on the channel. Well, I mean, it's still a speed paint, so it's not that different, but like it's a different subject matter completely. And um, I usually do portraits and fantasy, funky, psychedelic type stuff usually. But for this video, I actually am doing a still life. And this was more so kind of like a practice exercise for me. I was working on a mermaid acrylic painting um, for Mermaid, but Mermaid has long been passed and I'm missing my deadline, of course, because I miss every freaking deadline. It literally took me until after Mermaid to start a freaking mermaid painting. Like what the hell? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I was working on this mermaid painting and it's like a larger like 16 by 20 inch piece and it's pretty detailed. I I finished all like the base skin tones on her face and her body and her hair and stuff and I was starting to get into like the parts of the painting where you have to really like focus down and do this detail work and I'm trying to find like little hacks and ways to shorten the time it takes to finish a painting um however as I was working on the scales and stuff and all the little small like nitpicky details I wasn't like getting super happy with it, you know? I was kind of not giving it my 110%. I was kind of being lazy with some of it. So I decided to take a break from that painting, step away from it, um, add it to the collection of paintings that I haven't finished yet, that I need to finish eventually. Um, and I started this piece, and this is a still life, if you can't tell already. And basically, not only was I bored of the other piece, but I actually had my college orientation this month. It was like on the 6th or something. It was really, really fun. I freaking loved it. I went in very anxious, you know, because of course, I feel like most people are anxious going into their first day of being on a campus or first day of actually being a student on campus um but I met some really cool people and literally the fine art students are so cool and chill like I haven't I've never had like friends that are really into art you know in high school or in my personal life anyways so actually getting to hang out with people and talk about art and um, getting to like be around other fabulous people. I freaking loved it. Um, however, I was kind of like, I was scheduling my classes for the fall semester and all of the classes I'm taking for the fall semester, I'm not really doing any canvas painting or painting in general. Um, a lot of it is drawing and sketching and like sculpture, which is all stuff that sounds like not my favorite thing ever. Like I'm gonna do it and I'm hopefully gonna be decent at it, but like, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna be painting that much, which makes me really sad. Um, however, when I am painting, it's gonna be more stuff like this, I'm thinking, because you have to kind of, ooh, I just knocked something, sorry. Um, but you have to kind of like work on the basics. So I'm gonna start doing more exercises where even if it's like a little sketch or something or gesture drawing, I wanna be doing more like kind of traditional, realistic type stuff just to practice because it's not my favorite thing to do like of course i like to do my funky fairy portraits but like i want to be able to practice some of these skills beforehand just so i have it you know um so that's why i did the still life kind of just pre-art school panic <laughs> of course the still life isn't super realistic like it is kind of but um the picture i used i was kind of using loosely and i did a pretty realistic um like a vanitas skull looking still life thing last year for my art school applications and looking between the two of these like looking at this one versus that old one i like this one so 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 much more because i was kind of letting my own my personality come through it a little bit more i was being a little bit looser the background is more impressionist i added the magical fairy sparkles of course because if i'm gonna force myself to do a freaking still life i'm going to make it as bearable as possible because i can't handle stupid boring realism so of course it's drenched in purple because it's me and it's sparkly and wonderful um let me know what you think of it i think i'm gonna stay with this more impressionist style and this simple background was so fun to do and i like it almost as much as like the super ornate backgrounds i try to paint and i feel like a lot of the time i do these super detailed backgrounds before i paint my characters and then the backgrounds end up being just as detailed as the characters, and then you kind of lose your focus in the piece. Like, of course, it's cool because your eye kind of floats around it and you can explore all the different little details and stuff. But I want my pieces to be more, like, striking. So I think I'm going to practice more simple backgrounds and do more ornate characters. And instead of trying to do both an ornate character and an ornate background, if that makes sense. And also, I feel like that cuts the time to complete paintings, like, in half or in a third or something. Like, it's crazy. This painting took me like under 10 hours maybe like around 12 hours which to some of you might seem like a lot of time but for me it's like nothing because <laughs> i've had paintings take me like 50 plus hours you know so like yeah it didn't take me nearly as long so i'm hoping 
Oh, my voice just did something weird. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm hoping, like, you know, by using this more, like, simple background, not only will it make the characters appear even more, like, whimsical and magical, but, like, I'm hoping maybe it'll cut down the time of, like, the actual portrait pieces, too. Because I am one of those people where I need to be seeing, like, results to, like, be inspired. I know that's kind of shitty, but, like, I feel like if I'm painting and I'm not getting anywhere with it, it's really hard for me to continue. So if I'm finishing a lot of pieces... I tend to work a lot more. Right now I'm kind of in this weird like funk. I'm always in like, I feel like this whole summer I'm kind of been like, I've been in this weird mindset where, and I'm sorry, I'm getting off track, but like whatever. I'm getting in this weird mindset where I'm thinking like, ooh, I'm gonna be in art school. So I need to, I'm gonna be doing art all the time when I'm in art school. So I should be doing stuff that isn't art while I can because I'll have time to do it, if that makes sense. Like I've been going to a lot of music festivals and hooping and like I've been doing more gaming and stuff. However, I'm always missing art. So I feel like I just need to, like, stop that mindset and just start making art more. Because that's why the videos have been kind of not a much, not, like, not a lot this month. <laughs> um, I've had a lot going on, again, with college orientation and everything. Um, and I completely forgot what I was saying before this, but I hope you're all doing wonderful. Um, this month, for me, again, it's been kind of weird with that stupid mindset thing. But I've also done a lot of cool stuff. Again, I had college orientation. I've been to a few festivals. I picked up hoop dancing a few months ago, and I got to hoop at a festival with an LED hoop, and oh my god, it was so freaking fun. I could do it, like, every day, all day. Um, and actually, um, I'm about to leave for a summer camp type thing at that university that I'm going to. They have an art program, um, where you stay for a week in the dorms and you're basically an art student and you're supposed to do it before you're graduated, but I kind of messed up the entire order and I applied for it as a senior, but I got a scholarship for it. So I'm just going to go and live my best life there and they can deal with me already being basically a student. And then I'm also going to Pride tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. I freaking, I've never been to a Pride before, and I'm hoping, like, I, I'm excited. I bet the energy is going to be, like, super electric, and I love anywhere where there's a lot of people, and the energy is very warm and welcoming and loving, and I freaking cannot wait, and my little sister's going, and I'm excited to see all the drag queens and everything. Um, also, if you like RuPaul's Drag Race, we should talk in the comment section about it. Tell me who your favorite is, who you think's going to win. I'm excited for the finale next week. I'm actually going to be at that stupid summer camp. Well, it's not a stupid summer camp, but, like, I'll be there, so I won't really get to watch it until like several days after which kind of blows but um yeah we can talk about rupaul's drag race we can talk about queer eye oh my god season two is so good i freaking love season two now i'm gonna talk about the piece a little bit more <laughs> but um i hope again i hope you're all doing good um this piece um i did it with all golden acrylic paints or like Cortex basics depending on what color i had i actually just ran out of a bunch of the golden acrylic paints that i do have and i just placed an order on jerry's autorama for like 10 more tubes of different colors i got paid so i was able to spend like a hundred dollars on paint and i cannot wait for it to ship um, but yeah, it's all done with acrylic paints on a canvas panel, and I don't use canvas panel, I've never used it before, um, and after today, and after this piece, I'm going to use the canvas panel freaking religiously because it's replacing nasty canvas, and the thing with canvas is that as I was painting on it, I would rest my arm or my hand or something, and um, I would like dent the canvas almost, and then it would be like loose and annoying, if that makes sense. Um, you can tighten canvases with water, but like that's kind of a hassle and it's kind of scary after you've already painted on it. Um, but with canvas panel, you don't have any of those problems and they're also a little bit smoother. So I bought a bunch of canvas panels at Michael's and um, I also bought a few wood panels because I'm going to try to stay away from canvas. After freaking trying out these wonderful painting surfaces, I like them a lot more than canvas. Um, but also, you can also frame canvas panel. So my mom actually swooped up this painting like the second I finished it. She like claimed it, made it her own. She put it in the living room <laughs> and she put it in this big, amazing, ornate like gold frame. If I have a picture of it i'll try to post a picture at the end um so it's in this big obnoxious museum frame looking thing and it's hilarious but i freaking love it um so i recommend canvas panel because you can frame it and do a lot of cool stuff with it and i'm sure it's not nearly as expensive to ship because eventually when i start selling original work i want to be able to ship stuff kind of cheap and i feel like canvas might be crazy expensive to ship but i don't know um, also about selling original art i freaking suck again i'm sorry etsy isn't up yet It'll be up eventually. I'm in this dilemma where I don't have really high quality photos of the paintings, and I almost feel guilty selling them without 
having images of them to make big prints because before I wanted to start selling my thing was if I sold a piece I wanted to get a canvas print of it for myself so I kind of have like an original still because I miss them and I love them but I want to sell them like don't get me wrong I want to get the art out and I want to sell it and put it places um, and if anyone really loves a piece I want to I want them to have it, but I want to have pieces um, and prints for myself, you know? So I feel kind of guilty not being able to make prints of it or reproduce it after it's been sold, if that makes sense. So that's the only reason why Etsy hasn't been up yet. And I want to sell all these originals and I would sell them. It's just, I want to be able to make prints of them first. So I'm waiting until I can get maybe a professional to help me photograph them. I have a friend who is really into photography and she has a really nice camera. And I'm hoping that maybe we can like trade. She can like take some photos from me and I'll give her a painting or something. Um, but like, I really, I want to get the photos before I sell anything, if that makes sense. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, as for like the little watercolor and mixed media paintings those are gonna be cheaper probably like 15 to 30 dollars a piece and those will all be on etsy probably before then and i'm gonna try to knock that out right when i get back from the summer camp thing because next month i'll be free until the end because then i'm going on a trip out of the country um but that period in july i should be able to get a lot of stuff done so yeah i'm sorry this video is late i'm sorry that I've, I've kind of stuck this month i know i'm sorry it's the worst um, but I freaking appreciate all of you watching the video still and following me on Instagram. I will put all of my social media links down below in the description so all you fabulous people can check me out on other places. And by other places, I mean just on Instagram because I literally am nowhere else because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, but I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. And also comment down below if you have any questions about the painting or anything. Or if you want to chat, again, I'm good for RuPaul or Queer Eye or pretty much anything. So yeah, let's chat down below. I freaking love you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys!